Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Daily Office. Today is November the 16th, 2022. Thanksgiving is fastly approaching, isn't it? Today, we celebrate the life and legacy of Mary Margaret of Scotland. She was a queen, and she died in 1093. Send out your light and your truth that they may lead me and bring me to your holy hill and your dwelling. This morning we are using St. Bede's Breviary, mobile, B-E-D-E-S. So join us on that and follow along. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever Amen and Alleluia. And now together, the Venite, and our antiphon this morning is Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Our first appointed psalm this morning is Psalm 101, and we will recite it together uh, by whole verse. I will sing of mercy and justice. To you, O Lord, will I sing praises. I will strive to follow a blameless course. Oh, when will you come to me? I will walk with sincerity of heart within my house. I will set no worthless thing before my eyes. I hate the doers of evil deeds. They shall not remain with me. A crooked heart shall be far from me. I will not know evil. Those who in secret slander their neighbors, I will destroy. Those who have a haughty look and a proud heart, I cannot abide. My eyes are upon the faithful in the land, and they dwell within me. And only those who lead a blameless life shall be my servants." Those who act deceitfully shall not dwell in my house, and those who tell lies shall not continue in my sight. I will soon destroy all the wicked in the land, and that I may root out all evildoers from the city of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And with St. Bede, you will notice that we... Uh, uh, say the Gloria Patri after each psalm. Psalm 109. Hold not your tongue, O God of my praise, for the mouth of the wicked, the mouth of the deceitful, is opened against me. They speak to me with a lying tongue. They encompass me with hateful words and a fight against me without a cause. Despite my love, they accuse me, but as for me, I pray for them. They repay evil for good and hatred for my love. Set a wicked man against him, and let an accuser stand at his right hand. When he is judged, let him be found guilty, and let his appeal be in vain. Let his days be few, and let another take his office. Let his children be fatherless, and his wife become a widow. Let his children be waifs and beggars. Let them be driven from the ruins of their homes. Let the creditor seize everything he has. Let stranger plunder his gains. Let there be no one to show him kindness and no one to pity his fatherless children. Let his descendants be destroyed and his name be blotted out in the next generation. Let the wickedness of his fathers be remembered before the Lord and his mother's sin not be blotted out. Let their sin be always before the Lord, but let them root out their names from the earth, because he did not remember to show mercy, but persecuted the poor and needy and sought to kill the brokenhearted. He loved cursing. Let it come upon him. He took no delight in blessing. Let it depart from him. <clears throat> he put on cursing like a garment. Let it soak into his body like water and into his bones like oil. Let it be to him like the cloak which he wraps upon himself and like the belt that he wears continually. Let this be the recompense from the Lord to my accusers and to those who speak evil against me. 
But you, O Lord my God, O deal with me according to your name, for your tender mercy's sake, deliver me. For I am poor and needy, and my heart is wounded within me. I have faded away like a shadow when it lengthens. I am shaken off like a locust. My knees are weak through fasting, and my flesh is wasted and gaunt. I have become a reproach to them. They see and shake their heads. Help me, O Lord my God. Save me for your mercy's sake. Let them know that this is your hand, that you, O Lord, have done it, that they may curse you, but you will bless. Let those who rise up against me be put to shame, and your servant will rejoice. Let my accusers be clothed with disgrace and wrap themselves in their shame as in a cloak. I will give great thanks to the Lord with my mouth. In the midst of the multitude will I praise him, because he stands at the right hand of the needy to save his life from those who would condemn him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our first reading comes from Malachi. An oracle, the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, says the Lord, but you say, how have you loved us? Is not Esau Jacob's brother, says the Lord? Yet I have loved Jacob, but I have hated Esau. I have made his hill country a desolation and his heritage a desert for jackals. If Edom says, we are shattered, but we will rebuild the ruins, the Lord of hosts says, they may build, but I will tear it down until they are called the wicked country, the people with whom the Lord is angry forever. Your own eyes shall see this and you shall say, great is the Lord beyond the borders of Israel. A son honors his father and servants their master. If then I am a father, where is the honor due me? And if I am a master, where is the respect due me? Says the Lord of hosts to you, O priests, who despise my name. You say, how have we despised your name? By offering polluted food on my altar. And you say, how have we polluted it? By thinking that the Lord's table may be despised. When you offer blind animals in sacrifice, is that not wrong? And when you offer those that are lame or sick, is that not wrong? Try presenting that to your governor. Will he be pleased with you or show you favor, says the Lord of hosts? And now implore the favor of God that he may be gracious to us. The fault is yours. Will he show favor to any of you, says the Lord of hosts? Oh, that someone among you would shut the temple doors so that you would not kindle fire on my altar in vain. I have no pleasure in you, says the Lord of hosts, and I will not accept an offering from your hands. For from the rising of the sun to its setting, my name is great among the nations, and in every place incense is offered to my name, and a pure offering. For my name is great among the nations, says the Lord of hosts. But you profane it when you say that the Lord's table is polluted, and the food for it may be despised. What a weariness this is, you say, and you sniff at me, says the Lord of hosts. You bring what has been taken by violence or is lame or sick, and this you bring as your offering? Shall I accept that from your hand, says the Lord? Cursed be the cheat who has a male in the flock and vows to give it, and yet sacrifices to the Lord what is blemished. For I am a great king, says the Lord of hosts, and my name is reverenced among the nations. Here ends the reading. And you know, in other in the other apps, we say the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The beauty of the Anglican uh, prayer cycle. <clears throat> so much variety. Sergei Illuminare is our first canticle this morning. Together, arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. For behold, darkness covers the land; deep gloom enshrouds the peoples. But over you the Lord will rise, and his glory will appear upon you. And his nights, nations will stream to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawning. Your gates will always be open. By day or night they will never be shut. They will call you the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Violence will no more be heard in your land, ruin or destruction within your borders. You will call your wall salvation, and all your portals praise. The sun will no more be your light by day. By night you will not need the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting light, and your God will be your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And our next reading comes from James. 
Who is wise and understanding among you? Show by your good life that your works are done with gentleness born of wisdom. <clears throat> but if you have bitter envy and selfish ambition in your heart, do not be boastful and false to the truth. Such wisdom does not come down from above, but is earthly, unspiritual, devilish. But where there is envy and selfish ambition, there will also be disorder and wickedness of every kind. But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruits, without a trace of partiality or hypocrisy. And a harvest of righteousness is sown in peace for those who make peace. Those conflicts and disputes among you, where do they come from? Do they not come from your cravings that are at war within you? You want something and do not have it, so you commit murder. And you covet something and cannot obtain it, so you engage in disputes and conflicts. You do not have, but you do not ask. You ask and do not receive, because you ask wrongly in order to spend what you get on your pleasures. Adulterers, do you know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Therefore, whoever wishes to be a friend of the Lord becomes an enemy of God, a friend of the world. <laughs> or do you suppose that it is for nothing that the scripture says, God yearns jealously for the spirit that he has made to dwell in us, but he gives us all the more grace. Therefore, it says, God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Lament and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned into mourning and your joy into dejection. Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will exalt you. Do not speak evil against one another, brothers and sisters. Whoever speaks evil against another or judges another speaks evil against the law and judges the law. But if you judge the law... You are not a doer of the law, but a judge. There is one lawgiver and one judge who is able to save and destroy. So who then are you to judge your neighbor? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our next canticle is the Song of Zechariah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath that he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We will continue now with the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages A. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. 
Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. O God, you called your servant Margaret to an earthly throne that she might advance your heavenly kingdom and gave her zeal for your church and love for your people. Mercifully grant that we may also be fruitful in good works and attain to the glorious crown of your saints through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. You will be hated because of my name, but not a hair on your head will be destroyed. Satisfy us early with your mercy, that we may rejoice and be glad. Blessed Lord, who caused all holy scriptures to be written for our learning, grant us so to hear them, read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest them, that we may embrace and ever hold fast the blessed hope of everlasting life, which you have given us in our Savior Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And a collect for grace. O Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have great brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity and in all we do. Direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray for the mission of the church. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you. Through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And now let us bring to the Lord our own needs and intentions and ask for his indulgence, his mercy, and in many cases, his forgiveness. God bless our first responders and those to whom they go to attend. Amen. And now the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all, for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.